Hello, Leo. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. We are working with the Thoth Tarot deck this week. I'm going to pull out for our environment, connections, and contributions. Okay, so let's get the cards on the table here. Just want to shuffle a couple more times here for you, Leo. If you have not, um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Keep in mind, it is a general reading, so it will not resonate for every Leo out there. Definitely feel free to book a personal with me on my website, Amy Energy online all right so getting into our environment past present and future our connections past present and future and our contribution past present and future now keep in mind I actually cannot tell the future because you have free will oh look at that we got the tower on the bottom of the deck Whew, all right Leo can't wait to see how this plays out for you. Okay, but you have free will, so yeah, I can't tell the future, but this is just, we can tell a lot based on the current energy, okay? So let's get into environment here, clarifying with the Rider-Waite-Smith holographic deck, okay? Let's, let's flip them all. Ooh, okay, I like where this is going for you, Leo. So in the past, we have the Princess of Discs. So I feel like you've really been investing in yourself in the most recent past, maybe throughout the past couple of years even, um, with this Princess of Discs. I really see you, you know, in the past starting on a new path, a new journey here. We're clarifying it with the Five of Pentacles. So I do feel like, this has been something that we've been learning a lot about is like our own self-worth and how to not draw attention to our weaknesses, right? Because we are very strong. So I feel like, you know, we could have been battling with some low self-esteem or just, you know, not feeling good enough at some points along the way. But we have endured. We've showed tremendous strength. And moving into the current moment, we have the chariot. So we are really feeling much more empowered now. Um, you know, we have left this self-doubt in the past, and we are really looking at the future, really developing our vision. We know where we're going. And, you know, with the chariot, it's only a matter of time, right? We know we're going to get there. And can we clarify this, please? Okay, Four of Pentacles coming out. All right, so I definitely feel like I really like this energy because we have the Five of Pentacles in the past. Um, and I feel like part of what we've learned is to kind of take a step back, right? If we're feeling a bit insecure. It's not like take a step back as in don't work on what we're working on, but it's like, oh, we probably need some rest or we probably need to be giving ourselves more of our energy, right? So it's not always the chariot. It is about forward motion, but, you know, the way I read it, it's not always about forward motion, right? Because a lot of people say the chariot is the fastest card in the deck, but the only thing that's moving in this is that orb, right? And like, you know, it's like everything around you, like there's movement from the universe, there's like magic around you, so there's movement in that regard, but like the chariot is not moving forward, it's stationary. It's much more about the vision and being laser focused, right? So part of moving forward sometimes is not moving forward, right? That 
makes any sense, but I feel like it's going to make sense to you, Leo, because I feel like that's where you're at right now. Okay, you're really, and I love that the chariot and the four of pentacles is a seven and a four, which is an 11, and then we have the 11 adjustment card. That's our future. So everything you've been working on, everything you've been doing is really providing balance, and this is in our environment right so i actually feel like we could be someone who works from home or is you know running their own business okay um ace of wands coming out with the adjustment card temperance on the bottom i mean a lot of major arcana here leo and i really see you getting to where you want to be right? I feel like you've been really working to get to this Ace of Wands, to this new beginning, to really feel this raw passion and to, you know, I feel like this is really truly feeling good about yourself, right? Because in the past, for some of us, right, it may not be resonating for you, but I feel like this is what we've been working on is feeling really good about ourselves and what we're doing. And you know, with the adjustment card, which is justice in other decks, we're really seeing ourselves. We're really seeing ourselves, and that's allowing us to balance rest and work and play and all the things. And we have temperance on the bottom of the deck. So you are just doing an amazing job, Leo. If life throws you a challenge, you handle it. Really lovely energies coming out for you. Okay, moving into our connections. Okay, in the past, we were waiting. Okay, we have the Two of Wands, Dominion. This is a tense energy, right? In the past, we were trying to move forward, but we were being held back, right? Um, by past pain, past people, situations. Okay, it is coming up in our connections, so I feel like it could be friendships, lovers, business partnerships, but I feel like it was, you know, pain or uncomfortable feelings that we needed to process. So it was a bit difficult in the past for us to really be able to embrace this new beginning, but now we have three ones on the table, okay? Yes, look at you. In the, in the most recent past here, you really made a choice, right? You were in a tense situation, and you made a choice to make the most of those in-between moments, right? You, you recognized where you were at, and you said, I'm going to choose to be happy. And let me tell you something, Leo. That was a very powerful move on your part, right? You were really thinking about where you were investing your energy. You were being very mindful, even if it was hard, even if, you know, sometimes it wasn't linear and sometimes you would fall back into thinking about past situations. Um, you stayed deliberate, right? You kept trying every day and you kept trying to let that light in to your life and illuminate the path forward and, and that's exactly what happened here and now we have the ace of discs just a beautiful new beginning here you're ready right you are full of like fruitful potential with this ace of discs you're really just abundant and beautiful right this is the card of dazzlement and that's you you are literally dazzling right now Okay, the Seven of Swords is coming out. So I do feel like um, for some of you in connections, okay, we've been on a little bit of a journey here, and we've been in incredibly resilient, okay? So I have no criticism for you, Leo, but the Seven of Swords, it is one of my least favorite cards to see. And I do feel like to a certain extent we could be – It's, it's interesting, you know, it's a card where we're not being 100% straightforward. And there could be many very valid reasons for this. But I do feel like, you know, you have to keep on trusting, right? You've made it to this ace of discs. 
but what you were doing in the past that really got you to this point, you have to keep doing that. You have to keep focusing on letting that light in and being happy, right? With the Seven of Swords, we might just be not being 100% straightforward about what we're thinking or feeling about a situation. It's very interesting, but I do feel like there is still there is a lot of evolution here and the wheel of fortune is here so there's a lot of movement in your life right now and maybe that's why you know oh yeah look like the universe is trying to give you a victory right it really is um this victory is trying to come in but it's almost like you have to say you want it like don't be shy you have to be like yeah i want this i want this victory i deserve it look at me i'm dazzling I am beautiful and I want it. I want what I want. Don't try to beat around the bush. Like, this is in connections. So if you're going out on a date, like, don't be polite, right? Be like, I'm so valuable. Like, you should be, like, drooling over me. I don't know why I said that. That's kind of gross. But, like, that's what I feel. I feel like don't be ashamed of that. If you feel like, you know, people need to value you more, then be straightforward, upfront, honest about that. Don't sell yourself short being polite. That's all I'm going to say about that. And in the future, we have the magus, right? And this is also a one, but this is like all of the aces combined, right? So where you're at now is great. Where you're going, even better, okay? The magician is here and you're really going to be able to embody all of the elements and, you know, really utilize all of the tools that you have developed through this whole process. Okay, wow. You've been on a journey here, Leo, and you've really made the most. Yes. Okay, see, this is gorgeous. Like, you're almost there, Leo. We just need to switch, like, um... You know, we have the Seven of Swords. We need to get into the Seven of Wands, right? We don't need to sneak around. We can be so bold and we can take what is due, right? We can take what we deserve. It's okay. We have judgment here. You're getting a lot of clarity on that, okay? You're really understanding how to... It's like you have the newness now in this moment and you're really learning how to use it, like how to use all of the tools you have. Like, I feel like you probably have the tools right now, but you're really like maturing them and learning how exactly to utilize them for your best interest to get what you want. Right. Ooh, I love this reading for you, Leo. Okay, getting into your contributions. Okay, eight of cups in our past. So, you know, when it comes to your contribution to society, your career, projects you're working on, whatever it might be for you, I feel like we've really walked away from an opportunity here in the past. Um, and that could have been scary, right? With the indolence card, this is whenever we've trusted our gut and we've walked away from something and then we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Should I have done that? What's next for me, right? And we have judgment with that. So this was something, a calling you could not ignore. Look at that, Knight of Swords. Like, yeah, you could definitely not ignore this. This was like a nagging um, voice almost, like just calling you to get out of a situation. And I feel like you did that. And right now you are like on fire with this knight of wands you're going a completely different direction than where you were before right whatever you were working on in the past that is you really had a judgment call and now you're going the completely opposite direction here with the knight of wands okay let's clarify that Oh, the King of Wands, same card, different deck, okay? And the Knight of Cups. 
So, Leo, I definitely do feel like you are not listening to the rules of society at all, right? You have your own, you know, the Knight of Wands has their own heroes code inside of them. They know what's right for them. They're not going to listen to the rules. They don't need to follow the rules. They're a rebel. But, you know, they still have a lot of virtue inside of them. But it's, you know, just a lot of passion. And the Knight of Cups is here. So this is our dream. We are going toward our dreams. Whatever it is that, you know, maybe some people are like, you are out of your mind if you think that's ever going to work. And we're like double down Knight of Wands. Like we don't give one F. We have no Fs. No Fs to give. To anybody who wants to question our path, we know. We know what's right for us. And, you know, it might be just a knowing right now, but in your future energy, you're going to be speaking that truth out loud. You're going to be letting anybody know, and anybody who tries to stand in your way, you're going to cut their head off with your sword. Okay? Yeah, because you're making your dreams come true here, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Look at that. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're taking it all, Leo. You deserve it all and you're taking it. So I love this, the way it, it's ending with the Tower and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck because I do feel like, you know, there's there's been a lot that's happened, right? Judgment has... You know, it came out here, but it also came out on the bottom of the deck. There's a ton of major arcana, so I feel like this is a really good tower, right? And I do love tower in the Thoth deck just because, you know, it has, like, the eye at the top. So it's like, you know, anything that's happened that hasn't exactly been comfortable, you've still made it work to you know, make your life better, right? You've used everything as fuel for your fire. And now look at you. Ten of cups over your reading. Like, you can really handle anything because you've created a safe space for yourself. So even, even the tower, like, yeah, the tower might not ever really be super comfortable but I feel like you can handle anything because you truly love yourself exactly for who you are, right? And you've made it, right? You're definitely with all these aces in your reading and the Ten of Cups over your reading. Like, you have really completed a chapter of your life. And I feel like, you know, this might be for a lot of you the first chapter where you were 100% in charge. You just took charge of your life and you did it. So every single good thing that happened to you is from your own work, is from what you did. And so you can just feel so good about it. Oh, what a juicy reading, Leo. I love it. Okay, let's get us some oracles. I have two, um, I put two oracle decks together here. We have the Airmail Oracle and the Astro Elemental Oracle, both by Sarah Stacy. And I have information in my description box if you want to treat yourself to the best oracles in all of the land. Um, so definitely check out that Etsy store, get you some oracles. Okay, let's get our past, present, and future energy. All right, aim high over your reading. Okay, so in the past we have soothe, and I love that because I feel that, right? I feel like we really were in sort of a dark place where we couldn't really see exactly how things were going to work out. We were just trusting our gut, trusting our own judgment. And 
you know, even here, choosing to let that light in, even in a stagnant space, like we've soothed ourselves, right? We have, you know, we really showed up for ourselves. Wow. And then we have feel coming out here in the current energy. So I do feel like we are feeling like the momentum. We're feeling proud of ourselves. We're feeling like we're going to make it, right? And we're feeling, yeah, proud of ourselves. I was just going to say that twice. So, um, but I really feel that. And then we have be patient in the future energy. So, you know, I do feel like it's interesting to me that be patient is coming out because it actually feels like pretty fast moving here with these wands and the magician. Um, but maybe it's not fast enough for you. Maybe you want it to be happening like yesterday. So just keep aiming high and know that you're you're doing it. You're there, right? Your rewards are going to come. So just be patient because you're exactly where you need to be. Just make sure you are telling the truth here. That's the one thing that, um, you know, with the Seven of Swords coming out in the middle of your reading, like, it's okay for you to know your worth, Leo. It's okay for you to know how amazing you are. You're allowed to say it. You're allowed to feel it and say it, okay? And actually, it's important. That's where I feel that wish fulfillment comes in, right? Like when you really acknowledge how beautiful and wonderful and magical you are with no shame, right? You don't need to, to hide it or to not let people know. And who really cared? Like if somebody doesn't like it, then they probably just need to heal a similar wound, right? So you don't really need to care about that. Like, wish them to heal and that, then be done. All right, let's get us a sacred destiny oracle. Okay, we have truth. Yes, what was I just saying? And success. This is my favorite card, right? Look at how... This is like, I don't know, sexy success to me. Okay, we're going to read both of them because these are actually like my two favorite cards in the deck. I love them. So we have first truth, song of the wind, the sacred landscape wants you to know. Be honest with yourself and speak from your heart. Find your truth. Listen for what is sincere and honest in others. One of the most difficult things to know is what is true for you and what isn't. Sometimes it takes sincere silence to find your inner voice of truth. But once you find it, let go of anything in your life that isn't authentic. Share your truth with others. Release relationships in which you can't be yourself and can't be real. Being genuine can allow your spirit to fly and the song of your soul to be heard in the universe. Oh, sorry, I had to get a little drink there, Leo. And now let's read success. Tropical jungle. The sacred landscape wants you to know satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment are at hand. Success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready to accept and embrace this success or it might occur rapidly. See, didn't I say, it feels like it's coming in quick, but for some reason you still have to be patient. All is possible. The gates of triumph are waiting to open. Being in a state of gratitude for all the small successes in your life will give birth to larger ones. Your satisfaction will come in many forms and from many areas of life. Celebrate it all and breathe it all in no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. This is an excellent time to make commitments, sign contracts, and make deals. Good fortune will ensue. All right, beautiful. All right, and then we're going to get you an affirmation that you can take with you for your week. 
And after the affirmation, we're just going to get into a little love reading just for fun. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? But all right, first let's focus on the affirmation. What affirmation does Leo need for the week ahead? Okay, my intuition is strong and clear. I trust the voice within. All right, screenshot that, Leo. Take that with you in your week, okay? Make sure you do take a moment to like, comment, share, subscribe, anything you do to help my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Share on your social media. Okay, let people know they can come here and get their reading. Again, if you want to book a personal, you can do so on my website, amyenergy.online. Okay, um, and now we're going to do a little love reading, like I said, general reading, so take it with a grain of salt. It may not resonate, but for this reading, Leo, you are going to want to have a person in mind. Okay, so go ahead and think of your person, and we will go ahead and uh, get the energy of this connection. Okay, so let's see how your person feels about you, starting with your person's current energy. Whoa, okay. Your person's really going through it right now okay they're going through a major transformation with the death card the tower here okay they could be feeling very wounded reevaluating a lot of choices that they've made up to this point in their life okay maybe having to deal with you but we'll see okay let's see how your person feels about you all right how does leo's person feel about them Okay, interesting. So I feel like they are trying to focus on just their day-to-day -day life, right? Like there is love that they have for you, but I feel like for some reason they just don't want to focus on that. Maybe they don't feel like it's realistic. They have a lot of fears, right? They're in this nine energy. They're really reevaluating their life right now. So even though I do feel like there's love there, they might feel like it's just a fantasy or a fairy tale. Like they don't know what to make of it. And so it they're stressing though, right? Because they also could be in a process of just like seeing a lot of things in their life. Like a lot of, I don't even know. It could be any number of things with this being a general reading. But I definitely feel like whatever this is that's coming up for them, it is, wow, all these cards wanting to fly out. Whatever's coming up for them, it is uncomfortable, right? With the tower here and these two nines are, you know, these are the two nines with, with the wands and the swords. They're the more challenging of the nines, you know. But it's good that they are you know, doing it, right? The Nine of Swords, my favorite writing on this card from the Next World Tarot, it, it says the Nine of Swords is the moment that society wants us to ignore. And so, you know, that, that writing always adds a little bit of a more positive spin to the Nine of Swords because, yeah, we do need to sometimes feel our pain. Okay, and what is the action that they would like to take towards you? All right, what action would Leo's person like to take toward them? Interesting, and my ear is ringing, Leo. Okay, give me a moment here. 
Wow. So what I'm feeling actually is this could have to do with your person's work, like their career, like their day job is what has them in this energy. And that's why like they do recognize you, but the action they'd like to take towards you is like they just want to rest, right? Wow, it's interesting. I feel like maybe you, you have built something with this person. Um, maybe it's like they don't feel like they're contributing to the life that you've built together as much as you are because they, like, see you as the star. So, like, they could feel very intimidated by you. Wow. Okay. This reading just really took a turn when my ears started ringing like that. Leo, really weird. I do feel like this message is definitely for someone um, because my ear usually rings like that, um, you know, whenever I'm getting a message for myself. So interesting. Your current energy here, Leo, wow. You know, we're getting a victory here with these Six of Wands and the Ten of Swords is here. So I feel like, you know, there is there is pain here, um, but it is an ending. Like, I feel like this is the end of a tough cycle. And with the Queen of Swords, I do feel like, you know, we are having to really tell the truth. Okay, the Queen of Swords on the bottom. So just like kind of what I was saying in in your reading, um, you know, in the first reading, we had the Queen of Swords there too. So um, really interesting with this being a general reading. It's a little bit hard for me to speak on. Um, but I definitely feel like you know, we've, we've learned how to tell the truth. And that in itself, though it doesn't take away all of our pain, it does allow us to sort of let the sun set on the pain so that we can wake up to a new day. Okay, and then this next portion is how your person thinks you feel about them. So, interesting. So I definitely do feel like your person feels like they are very important to you here with the world coming out. But I also feel like you're someone who would have options with or without them. You're a very hard worker. You're very focused on your work. However, also with the Knight of Cups, you are sensitive and dreamy and emotional and you have a lot of love to give. Okay, so it's just... Your person could feel like there are a lot of pressure on you in a way. Um, and Or it even could be that, like, your work is a lot of pressure on them, even though I feel like they really recognize you. Like, they really do see you and and love everything about you. But it's like it just feels like a lot. It could feel to them like they just – like it adds a lot of pressure on them, the amount of pressure that you will put on yourself. Because I feel like you just are hard at it. Like you just can really put your nose to the grindstone and work and then, you know, also still have love to give. Like I don't feel like you're neglecting your partner, right? I feel like, you know, you're impressing the hell out of them, <laughs> to be honest. Um but this is how they think you feel about them. So I do feel like, you know, maybe they, they, I don't know, like something with work here. Like they definitely think you love them. But they, they think that also like how you feel about them is a lot to do with your work and how you show up in the world. Okay, let's just get advice for Leo. I'm sorry, this reading is a little bit confusing me with it being a general reading, so I might be picking up like multiple pieces of multiple people's stories here. 
So let's see advice for Leo in this situation. The hanged man and the four of wands. So wow, and the high priestess over this reading. So I feel like, you know, to a certain extent, like your partner could be going through something. And I just said partner, even though it doesn't have to be your partner, it's your person. But the fact that I said that, I feel like for some of you, this is someone who you are in a partnership with. And, you know, your person is really going through something, but it's kind of like their thing, right? So I feel like for you, it is sort of like, you know, there's not much you can do here with the hanged man. You just have to, you know, let them go through what they're going to go through. And, you know, you can definitely, maybe you're going to have some insights of your own about your life based on, you know, going through this together. But I feel like, you know, your person just kind of, they might just be someone who needs more rest than you. And I feel like the only thing you can really do for them is just let them know that that's okay. Like, you understand that. And, like, you can have a harmony and a happy home and a happy life, you know, even if they need more rest than you. And, you know, if you're really the star of the show here, you know, let them know that you're a Leo, okay? They need to know. They need to know that you're a Leo. They, they're not going to be able to comp compete with your, you know, star-like energy. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I'm just being goofy now. But the High Priestess is over your reading. So I feel like, you know, you're powerful. You're, like, literally connected to everything. And I feel like that could make your person feel like, you know, they like they might not even understand what it is that you love about them like they feel your love but then you know the knight of cups can be very dreamy or unrealistic so they could be like you know just wondering how or why or really like overthinking it right so yeah very interesting energy so we're going to get into these fun love oracles that always leave me more confused than I was when I first pulled them, but they're fun and poetic and kind of weird. So um, we're going to pull one for love advice for Leo and one for love advice for Leo's person. Okay. So Leo, let's get your oracle card. Let's get your advice your love advice. Ooh, Elizabeth Taylor. Don't run so fast that you can't be caught. You can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even bigger fan of diamonds. True friends last longer than marriage, however many times you marry. Okay, I like that for you, Leo. Okay, and let's see, Leo's person, any cross watchers out there, this one's for you. Leo's person, what advice does Leo's person need for love? Okay, Ernest Hemingway, treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow any tourist into your own private Paris. To love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing. That's really beautiful. Over the reading, we have Courtney Love. If rock stars are like leaders of a religious cult, be the unvirgin Mary. Be more human. Be more than human. Be a force of nature. Be ambitious. It doesn't matter if you don't know where you're going. Oh, all right. All right. And let's see, Leo, we just want to see what would your person say to you if they had the courage to speak their truth out loud 
what would they say? What would Leo's person say to them if they were having the courage to speak their truth out loud? What would they say? I wish you wouldn't push me away. All right, let's get one more in the bottom of the deck. Oh, I miss being around you was trying to come out. So interesting. Okay, let's get one more though. I don't want the flyer. I want to pull it myself. Okay, don't forget about me. And on the bottom, you scare the shit out of me. Okay, so there you have it. Again, take the love portion. I mean, take it all with a grain of salt, especially the love portion. But this is your reading, Leo, just for you. If you liked it, please comment. Give me a thumbs up share, subscribe, anything you do to help my channel, I greatly appreciate. If you want to book a personal, my website is amyenergy.online. Most importantly, though, I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.